people always make this like it's my fault and my problem that I don't last long anywhere. I spent nearly fourteen dollars to travel over here to um try to rent a room and this bitch she knew she knew that um it's like I don't know why people do this trying to rent out bed bug infested rooms for rent to people and then you know try to play it off like try trying to play it off like as if um like they didn't know. Like she knew that it was bed bug infested and she waited till after I started complaining to say admit that her room is full of bed bugs too. So she paid me she paid me um let's see how much she paid me hundred and fifty one dollars of my money back out of the one seventy five I paid her. And you know, I got mad and I left the sleeping bag. She said, "Well, I don't want none of your stuff." And she tried to act like fake, like she wanted to make it up to me. But she was wearing a red shirt, and then you know, she suddenly threw up the six 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 hand sign at me. You know, so this was before. I mean, I mean, I, I guess shortly after I did the video, letting y'all know that hey, I, you know, I'm in a renting a room and stuff like that, and it's like. It's, it's like um you know I, it's like this lady was already a perp she lied and said she was christian i know i cussed too but she cussed like a sailor and um you know she threw up the illuminati hand signs and she freaking deceived me about the bed bugs and stuff like that i mean i, I wish that I, oh fuck i'm so mad and I'm I'm sleep deprived and Janet did this to me too when I rent when I rented a room from her. I never been over in this area before. Um and then the, the directions to get over here was very confusing and even the Uber driver was getting frustrated at me and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see the welts all over my neck. At first, I thought it was fleas. Then they started to increase. You know, I don't know if y'all can see that. The bites on my neck. But yeah, I mean, I tried. I saw her with the red shirt and tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. She sounded all nice on the phone. Everything just happened so fast. So she tried to tell me, I don't want your sleeping bag. I don't want any of your stuff here. Well, shucks. You know, she tried to pretend to be fake honest with, you know, I'm glad she gave me the majority of my money back. But she said she's going to give me the rest and then more and stuff like that. I just don't understand the intentional evil. And this lady, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> she, she told me that she was 71 years old and she kept coughing by me. You know, she said she said that she was a um a nurse or something like that. And I'm out I'm out here and even though it may be daytime but it's cold and it looks like it's about to rain. See, being a targeted individual seems like you can never last long anywhere. So, <clears throat> I don't want to hear a fucking thing about lectures about me wasting money on a hotel room or wasting my money. I'm talking about spend it wisely, spend it wisely. Focus on this, focus on that. Worry about this, worry about that. Don't worry about that. You don't tell me what to worry about. And, and I've had, you know, that perp Daphne deliberately, she did keep all my money, keep the, kept the whole $75. And me and her almost had a physical fight. That's the one who was the cab driver earlier this year. But I'm glad not too much money was taken from me. I mean, the, I got the majority back, but the fact that I had to waste almost $14 to get over here and then waste more money to get back to go somewhere 
and I'm sleep deprived. I was hoping to get some rest and some sleep. This is not my fault that I'm going through all this. You know, so. And then some of the, <coughs> like Janet last year, she knew in advance that she was, you know, trying to give me a bed bug infested bed. And then try to play it off. Like as if, you know, she tried to play it off and lie and say that I was the one who brought her the bed bugs off the street. And then she tried to, you know, she tried to swear up and down. They always had this gaslighting fake story, you know, to either reverse everything on you or they'll pretend like they never knew all that so they can get, try to get more money, you know. And then the lady got, um, her name is Marie. She, she got mad and, um. She got mad and got angry and defensive and raised her voice. And when I said, well, if you knew you had the bed bugs, why the hell are you renting out bed bug infested rooms to people? You know, if you. Damn. And, and it's like her house is pretty cluttered, too. I mean, I know my storage room is cluttered, but her house is cluttered. And she got uh, like, well, she said she had another woman or whatever coming over. And watch, I get blamed and told that I should have been smarter. I should have been wiser. I should have done this. You know, everything looked good and okay off the surface. You know, I mean, I couldn't even see the bed bugs until after I freaking laid down. Damn, this is fucked up because... I don't know if I'll try to find another hotel room to go at. Because it's too cold to be out here. And, and um, I mean, I just, I mean, that sleeping bag. See, that's why I could never settle anywhere. So let me go now.